I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday September the 7th where you look at Thursday and the board was really quiet not a hell of a lot happening with the market one way or the other so I'm not going to talk too awful long on this visit but uh, a little bit in mourning because of the loss of Burt Reynolds uh, you know I was a kid when Smoking the Bandit come out and always kind of been a hero of mine I'm sure many of you guys too but took in the U.S. Cattlemen's Association's uh, big meeting up here in Billings, Montana on Thursday. Uh, uh, really a lot of good issues talked about, a lot of good people around. Uh, we had a, a nice uh, evening meal there. Uh, got to auction off some donated items with world champion auctioneer Kyle Shobe, which was a treat for me. Uh, got to meet um, my good friend Jim Felton from Felton Angus Ranch who I have not ever shook hands with but in this day and age with social media and everything he and I have been friends for for a long time but I never actually got to meet him in person but that was a treat but uh, I'll get on and talk about some some markets here look at the board on Thursday October live cattle was down just 15 cents in the day at 108.90 and and the, and that 108.90 is important because that is the, the spot month and there's no basis to work with at all so it, it's going to be hard for these these cattle feeders to, to give up their cattle at lower prices which the packers are working on because uh, normally they're used to a couple three dollars to put in their pocket to help them out on that deal but with uh, October being the spot and it's setting higher than where we're at right now it, it's going to be tough to get things done December live cattle down just two cents at 113.72 so uh, remember we got good things to look forward to October feeder cattle up a nickel at 151.52 and like I say I can't remember the last time the cattle board was this steady September uh, your spot month but not a lot of play in it also up a nickel at 151.77 in fact cattle trade uh, not much happening yet have not established a price yet uh, Iowa sold about 5,200 on Thursday morning from 106 to 109 but mostly 107 to 108 uh, that's that's about steady uh, they did have some dress trade at 170 which was about steady Nebraska just sold a few uh, 106 169 to 170 uh, I did hear some rumors of a few more cattle trading at 169 which uh, uh, I hope that doesn't uh, stick because that that would be a pinch lower, buck lower on the, on the dress side. But uh, we're we're basically just working steady right now, and and depending on what happens on Friday, here if the if the board is up, we can we could keep steady to maybe a pinch better. And if the board's down on Friday, it's probably going to be steady to a pinch lower, and that's just the way it is. But uh, box beef cutout values were lower on Thursday with choice cuts down 165 at 208.75 and select down pretty significantly and, and dropping below $200, which you hate to see. But uh, select cuts down 308 at 197.83. Your feeder cattle, though, uh, not a lot of big sales going on, but uh, but the trends were mostly steady to, to a pinch better and, and they've been better all this week after we got back from Labor Day and, and everybody's still pretty excited about buying feeder cattle with with your grains so cheap that's a good way to add value to those grains and and uh, and everybody's still feeling pretty pretty positive about down the road for your fat cattle trade so your, your cash feeder cattle are selling pretty good Pratt had 2100 head there feeder steers there called steady to two bucks higher of course it's wet all around there reason that they only had a little over 2,000 head uh, they had a few feeder heifers there and they were quoted lower as is the, the the heifer steer discount has kind of gotten jacked around here the last several weeks and and uh, it, it was it was far below and, and whenever the farmer feeders were in that country buying cattle to take back up north and uh, and then and then it cinched back up and then it's just it's just kind of back and forth but uh, Feeder heifers were cheaper in, in Pratt. Farmers, ranchers, livestock, Salina, Kansas. Of course, it's been awful wet up there. We've talked about the flooding all over Kansas, especially up there in north central Kansas. Only 1,100 head there. Not a really good test on the feeder cattle there. A uh, place that they did have a good run was Ogallala, Nebraska. Had a good sale there, a big sale, 3,900 head there. 
and uh, my friend Tom Walters does a good job of, uh, of reporting the market. He was all the way over there from his home base in, in the middle part of Nebraska, but uh, uh, there's just no way to call a market because they hadn't had a sale in several weeks there in Ogallala, but did note that there was good participation from um, from many buyers that showed up. Uh, look on Cattle Market Central, we did see a big quote of 128 head of steers weighed 911 pounds at 152 and that wouldn't be no cheaper at all that'd be an awful good sale and then go back out east to, to a good sale bluegrass stockyard south in stanford kentucky and uh, they had 310 head of 622 pound steers bring 160 30 and that's your feeder flash for friday